for the about the next five minutes good morning ladies and gentlemen the rest of the time good afternoon it is time to do the thing that up until a couple of days ago I was dreading and then I got a decent setup uh, provided by the wonderful bio JT and so you know that made this course bearable and quite quick so good afternoon ladies and gentlemen it is time for crashes are us to begin the next week of races and qualifying hello Michael how you doing hope you're well hope you're good good afternoon kebabs how you doing How doth it go? How was your weekend? How you been? Are you ready for ooh, a little bit of racing on this Monday? Right, because you will see. You will see. You will see. The Friends Leaderboard. Thanks to Bionic JT setup, that was my practice time roll 141.308. There is a potential 140 in here, as you can see by Colin's time. <laughs> Damn you for having such a good time. So here we go. We're going to load the setup. I'm going to apply it. We will set the Tig Whippy Ghost because obviously, you know. Actually, we will not have a ghost. We will not have a ghost it's on there. So I, as usual, would be display my ghost, turn the ghost off. Uh, we are going to reset the personal best ghost now. Now you may go, but you've not practiced this morning. What's going on? Do you not want to practice a bit to get your foot in? You guys know me now. That if I practice before, one of the best ways for me to do it is to get out and do it. So let us uh, full screen. Let us press that. It is now underway. Yes, Colin. How you doing, man? Welcome in. You did hear your name. Are you ready to see how well I do? Because I've started it. No practice this morning, so we're going in. Dr we're going in hard. We're going in dry. And we're not lubing the car up. So we are underway. Because if, if you know me, you know I'm not a fan of Baku in any way, shape or form. Yes. Ooh, really, really, really. <laughs> now, I know theoretically I can do better than a 141. However, I also know theoretically... <laughs> be gentle. <laughs> For you, Colin. Always. Because I know theoretically I can get into the 140s. Good afternoon, JT. How you doing, man? Okay, so to try and get a banker lap in. Otherwise, dude, you lurk away. People will be keeping an eye on the times and stuff. Do not worry. <laughs> oh, I almost took the wall there. See, I thought I might as well be the one who sets the marker down, you know. Puts the gauntlet in. And also get this one out of the way. So a 142595 to start with. (laughs) 
So now I build. So I was watching Nico Rosberg's video on this and he was saying there's a couple of corners you have to pick a breaking point and then decide are you going to go into that corner or are you going to take the escape road because you get it wrong you're in the wall This setup JT is just so planted. Should have put that on earlier, but never mind. A one forty one zero seven six. Yeah. Application of the brake, timing, precision. What I will say about everyone to back you as well, um, would like Monaco. Early braking, get your car down so you can turn it. <laughs> Let the car run after you broke. You, you know, you took your. Yeah, foot off the brake. better. That was better. See, I held the brake on too long there, and that's what clattered me into the wall. That was going to be a good time. That was going to be a sub 141 there. But this setup, and I think it'll only be fair at the end of this, I will show you the setup that JT's done in this. So people on Xbox and PlayStation, if they want to use it, can use it for theirs to see how it works for them. 
feels so planted it gives me the confidence to break, to turn in and put the power down without the back end wanting to come out on us, you know? He took yours as well. <laughs> Did he modify it in any way, shape or form, do you know, Colin? Because <laughs> if this is your setup, then this is an amazing setup. I should be thanking you. James Baldwin. You took from James Baldwin? I mean, what's better than being a Baldwin? Nothing. I didn't really take the foot off the gas coming through there, but I did, it's fine, it's okay. I know it's still early in the run yet. So that's the thing with this setup is those corners there normally the back end would be just running about a bit and being a little bit silly and so you can't have the thing with you can modify the brake settings but damn dude And sir, I doff my cap to you, because this is a fucking good setting. <laughs> Took that. Took that chicane wrong, but that's okay. Still got 20 minutes to go yet. Half a second, can still make that up. go so you get a good run out of that last breaking point before just putting the hammer down and you can make up so much time This could be good. This could be fantastic. 
Oh, a 140.475. Hello, Alex. How you doing, man? a shame. I was looking at potentially getting even faster there, but you know, still can do it. Well, for one thing, this track in the game is narrower than the real life. The castle section, the castle chicane bits are a lot narrower in this now compared to this year, just gone. Hi Egg, how you doing? Welcome in. Welcome to Crashes R Us as we Try getting some qualifying times around tracks to see who's fastest. Doing well there. That was on for at least a 140.2. Okay, reset. We've got. See this bit here, Alex was. The curbing is a lot farther to the right than it is in real life. This wall here, it was a lot straighter than that. <laughs> so, under halfway now to go. <laughs> Colin, would you say there's a 139 in this? Is it possible? Because I know the fight between you, Hatter, and Callum is heating up. that within two temps I can pull that back.
140.409. Wow. One forty two three seven. <laughs> I may have been a slightly late on the uh, the ers there or DRS coming out. Oh, take the wall. Got less than ten minutes to go. No, oh, thank you, did. Yeah, this one's a sloppy lap, but that's okay. Were you being away that I'll re ask the question? Do you think there's a, a 139 in this track? Grab it then. Maybe it went too deep in there. Yeah, for anyone else doing this run, that the left hander going into where the castle is, you can take so much of that curbing, and it's not penalising you.
Okay, maybe a little bit too much there. If I can sneak a top three this week, <laughs> with this time, I'll, I'll be happy. Yeah. Five and a half minutes to go. Can I get that elusive 139? I took that corner very, very tight, the first one. to that corner far too much <laughs> sloppy lad sloppy come on uh, build yourself back up for one more We have to get two, maybe three laps in. After breaks too much, um, too late there. Yep, that pushed it away. Never mind. Two more to go. So the way this setup is, you can take a lot of the car, but it will not penalise you. It will not unload the car and unsettle the car. Here you go. 
of that was again a little sloppy round that chicane, took it too late. Took the castle section well though. Okay, last lap coming up as I am less than 40 seconds away now from my time being up. Cross the line with 23 seconds left. So this is it, win, lose or draw, this is going to be either my new best time or the 140.237 is my best. As the ringer goes off. Because my headphones are on, I can't hear it properly. <laughs> Come on, one final flourish. Not enough, not enough. Oh, yeah, um, I didn't take the best lines there, but wow, that was, um, that's some damn good times. <sighs> okay. Oh, look, the practice time on there, dude. Just over a ten, just over a hundredth. It's over a hundredth of a second slower than your best. I'm proud of that. I'm very proud of that. Now, for people who want to use this, who are not on PC and don't have... Um, yeah, shame it doesn't. <laughs> but has that put some pressure on you? I hope so. But whoever is using like a console who wants to use this preset, okay, I think it's nice to share it. So that's what we're going to do because hell, I nicked it. So why not? Right. So if you're loaded, you don't need to worry about that. Um, Aero is a one and one at front, four at the rear, which helps give your car stability. Transmission, uh, 50 for, di for uh, a differential adjustment on throttle. Off throttle is 70%. Suspension, front camber, minus 2.5. Rear camber, minus 1. Front toe, 0 0.05. Rear toe, 0 0.20. And then suspension, front suspension. So you go 2, 2, 1, 11, 3 and 4, going top to bottom. Brakes, 88 and 54, so 88 brake pressure, 54% front brake bias. Tyres, 23 and 
But yeah, that's a. Let's see what my theoretical would have been as we end the session. Oh, so official time, uh, 140.237. My theoretical best would have been a 140.098. Damn, man, damn. That would have been good. That would have been good. But there we go then. Don't use Pirelli brakes. Don't use Hamilton's. That was his magic button he didn't turn off. So there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, as I say, to well, to James Baldwin, then to <laughs> then to Colin, and then to JT for for the setup because that helped a tremendous amount. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's either close to your best or your theoretical. That's when you know. And also, if you're hitting walls, that means you know you're trying. <laughs> you're just over trying slightly. But yeah, so thank you very much, everyone. Good luck to Colin. Good luck to Michael. Good luck to, for, for their runs today. Good luck to everyone who's doing their runs this week for Crashes R Us. Let's hope it's a nice, tight battle. Good times. But don't be mine, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow some Borderlands 3. Bye-bye!